Hello and welcome to tutorial 6. In tutorial 6 I'll be showing you how to write, read, uh, write and read content from a file, um, create a file, handle the exception if the file is not there, create the file if so, throw IO exceptions for our main method and our uh, constructor, and yeah, let's get started. Right, so I'm going to pause the video to, as we go along with this to save upload time because these videos get quite long as I write out the code with you rather than pausing, pre typing, and then unpausing and explaining. Right, so let's type up these um, imports. Alright, so here we have the Java IO buffer, the Java, Java IO buffer writer, buffered writer, uh, file read, file write, file. IO exception, file not found exception. Right, so, right, so now we're going to create two methods one, read file, and the other, write file. Both of these will throw IO exceptions, and yeah, they'll both be void. Right, so we have our first void method, and that's read file, and we have a parmen stream type and we identify the string as a file name and it also applies for directory as well um, then we throw IO exceptions and then our code goes here same with the writer pretty much exactly the same as the writer this time right. Right, so we're going to um, create a long value because in this tutorial I'll be we'll be writing a, um, a value to a file and we'll be multiplying that value by 2 so each time that file is written to the, uh, each time that value is written to the file, so it will go from zero. If it's zero, then make it one. And if it's one, then multiply it by two. So then you'll end up with two. Then multiply it to four. Then multiply it to eight. Then multiply it to six. Thirty-two, etc., etc. Right. So we're going to create our long variable, and then we're going to try and well, not try. Then we're going to build our try catch system for our S main constructor. Right, so there's our variable, our variable, which is a long type, a long data type, so we can hold very large numbers. Right, so let's work on these constructors. I mean, try catch for our constructor. Alright, so a nice beastie bit of code looking there. Right, so we've got our constructor, which is identified by this red line. And then we've got our first try catch, and that's for the exception with this long data type exceeding over its maximum value and if it does then we'll try to um, change the value to 1 saying our value to 1 and then we'll try using IO to write the file um, if that fails error if that fails error I don't think it needs to be there I'll look at that when we go to compile this later on. Right, so there's our try catch. Let's add in. Right, we're going to now add in. Uh, we're going to call our read file so we can read the value. Uh, read the value that's set inside our um, file and set it to our value inside our class or Java file, which is a class. Um, so we can set the value inside the text file to our value, long the data type. Right, so let's call this method. Right, so here you can see dot forward slash data forward slash file dot txt. So this file dot txt is going to be in the directory from wherever we're compiling forward slash data. Now we're going to write up um, a handler to, because this value is default 0 because we haven't set a value for it, we're going to check if the value is 0, and if it is, make it 1, and if it's not equal to 0, um, to zero then we're going to multiply it by itself, or multiply it by 2, by itself. Alright, so we have, if our value does not equal 0, so if it's not 0, then our value equals our value times 2. It's important to have the i value, uh, our value equals i value, our value. Um, if it's not, uh, so if it is 0, then we'll make it 1. By default, 
from the first start, you'll, or from start, it will be zero. So it will apply to this part first. Right, so let's write this file using our write file method, which is currently empty, but we'll get to that later. Right, so now we're going to write file, the same um, directory that was placed here. And then we're going to go and do system.out.print line new. Our value is now plus our value. Right now we're going to handle the value exceeding its long data type maximum allowed value. Right, so in here, in this block of code, we're going to attempt to do that. Right, so if it catches the error, then we're going to handle this error by setting our value to 1 and then we're going to write the file again. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, let's work on our read and write methods. Right, we're going to use three variables for this. Our line, the line on which our um, value has just been read from. Our reader, to read the, um, to read the file. And our f we're going to define file, so we can check if the file, e so if the file doesn't exist, we can create it. That's the only reason we're importing Java file. Right, we're going to catch if the file is not found. So we'll be able to handle that here to create the file using the file. And yeah, so now that we've done that, now we can create a new reader for our buffer reader. Similar to tutorial 5, I think. Similar to tutorial 5, reader equals a new buffer reader, and that new buffer reader equals a new file reader of the file name. And the file name is the uh, parent which is inputted here. So the directory data and the file files dot files dot txt. Should change it to file dot txt. Or something a little bit better. Right. Right now we're gonna assign a value to line and the line will be using the reader to read that line and the first line. And we're only going to be using one line in our um, file reader. Right, and then we're going to assign our value with the. We're going to treat the line as an integer. So integer dot pass int line, and we're going to assign that to our value. I know our values are long, but it doesn't matter because we're just treating this value, which is a string as an integer so we can apply it to our integer type which is a long. It's not 